Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you are. Uh, guys, um, there's been a lot of traction on my videos. Uh, I did a Calm Brook video, a lot of people giving their thoughts uh, yesterday. I'm really looking forward to that fight. Uh, next week, it's getting very close. It's getting closer and the excitement is building. Uh, people have got their opinions. People are giving their take on the fight. Um, it's getting very exciting. So yeah, uh, expect um a good build up next week and an exciting build up it's going to be a good fight hopefully uh but guys i want to bring you some i want to bring you some breaking news some big news um regarding ryan garcia ryan garcia has split up with eddie Reynoso. that's incredible um i will I, I didn't see that coming uh i saw ryan garcia you know posting um videos the other day with training with Eddie Reynoso and we thought everything was back on the men because we know that you know uh, Eddie Reynoso had made some comments about uh, and Canelo had made some comments that Ryan Garcia needs to be more focused uh he needs to be more dedicated uh so I was uh, and I obviously after seeing those videos it looked like everything was okay there wasn't no problem but then all of a sudden you know out of nowhere a uh, randomly you know Ryan Garcia splits with Eddie Reynoso uh, I don't know the I don't know the full ins and outs. Obviously, maybe Ryan Garcia might give uh, Ryan Garcia might give his take. I hope I, I I personally think it's probably an amicable split. But whenever you know a trainer um, comes out and says that you know Ryan needs to be more dedicated and you know it, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it may have been something to do with the comments made, possibly. You know, we're only speculating. We don't know. This is just my opinion. Uh, I think it's hard when, you know, Canelo's come out and said that he needs to be more dedicated, you know, Eddie Reynoso. And they, they you know, I think Canelo and Eddie Reynoso they, and Ryan, they had a, they, they talked it out. So it may just be to do with this. Eddie Reynoso's a very busy man. Eddie Reynoso's got Canelo. Eddie Reynoso has got a lot of fighters. He's got Andy Ruiz. Uh, he's got Oscar Valdez. He's got um, um, Canelo Alvarez himself, and he's got Mar you know Martinez. So maybe you know um, Ryan Garcia needs more one to one time. He needs more attention, uh, which I believe he does. I think Ryan Garcia needs a good coach, and I think Ryan, uh, which Eddie Reynoso is, uh, and I feel he needs more. He needs more attention. He needs he needs to be coached. He needs to be given a lot more time. Um, Eddie, uh, Ryan Garcia. And I think if Ryan Garcia is to be successful, Ryan Garcia is going to need to have a good trainer and a trainer that it, that basically guides him through, like Amir Khan. But I will say this, Eddie, uh, Ryan Garcia has joined with... Um, what's his name? Oh, I forgot his name. The one Amir Khan's trainer is Joe Goosen. That's it. Joe Goosen. Um, Joe Goosen is a very offensive trainer. I don't know if that is the right... Like, he's a very offensive trainer. Uh, I remember him going with Amir, like Amir Khan um, after, you know, Amir Khan got knocked out with Canelo. When Amir Khan came back against Phil LaGreco and Sammy Vargas, uh, Joe Goosen was Amir Khan's trainer. And Amir Khan in those fights against Phil LaGreco and Sammy Vargas was very offensive. And in the Sammy Vargas fight, like he was like gung ho, like he was just going and attack, 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 and kind of negating defense a little bit. And Amir Khan against Sammy Vargas got caught and put down. Uh, he got back up and won the fight, of course. But the instructions that Joe Goosen was giving Amir Khan was, even after he was dropped, is to attack, attack, attack. And Joe Goosen is a very offensive minded, a very attacking type coach. And I don't think, personally, I didn't think that suited Amir Khan. And, and I think when Amir Khan fought Terence Crawford, I think he decided to go back with Virgil Hunter because I think Virgil Hunter is... I think Amir Khan needed a trainer like Virgil Hunter who can guide him and give him the right instructions and and basically, you know, guide Amir along because Amir needs the instructions. I think Ryan Garcia is a, a fighter a bit like Amir Khan where he needs to be guided and he needs instructions. I'm not saying Ryan Garcia is as good as Khan was in his prime because Ryan Garcia is yet to show that kind of level. Um, but Ryan Garcia, for me, 
I don't know whether Joe Goosen's the right fit because after watching his fight with Luke Campbell, and by the way, Luke Campbell isn't a big puncher, good boxer, but isn't a big puncher, and he had Ryan Garcia down hard. I personally think that Ryan Garcia needs to sharpen up defensively, and I'm not sure Joe Goosen is the right guy. I think Ryan Garcia probably needed someone like a Virgil Hunter that can get Ryan Garcia but using his attributes smartly and wisely. Because like I said, Joe Goosen is a very offensive-minded trainer. Very offensive-minded trainer. Um, and if Ryan Garcia negates defense and and is just a guy that's going gung-ho and attacking, he's going to get knocked out against the elite guys in that division. Because some of those guys can really hit and Garcia is defensively um, not sound. And, and as we saw against Campbell, who's not a big puncher, put him down very heavy. He may not get that chance against some of the other guys that might just knock him out. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm a bit I'm a bit skeptical about this move. But you know, let's see how it works. I might be brilliant. You know, everyone's different. Uh, I think Amir Khan obviously went back with Virgil Hunter probably because he realized that maybe Joe Goosen's style wasn't the best style for him. But when I see Ryan Garcia, he reminds me Amir Khan was more polished than Ryan Garcia. You know, the other amateur background, being an Olympic silver medalist. He was a lot more polished and he was a much, a lot more, uh, he was a lot quicker on his feet. His, you know, his punches were a lot more sharp and accurate. He didn't have the power. I think Ryan Garcia has more power. He sits down on his punches, but Ryan Garcia is a lot more flat-footed. Khan never really sat down on his punches like that. Khan was more of a guy that was box and move. He was more of a, you know, a proper boxer, like a proper amateur style. You know, really, he'd beat you on points every day of the week because he was just so fast his movement was good and he would just outwork you ryan garcia on the other hand likes to sit down on his punches more which is more dangerous he's actually more defensively vulnerable than khan was in his prime because ryan garcia is sitting down on his punches more so obviously what that means is ryan garcia has more power because he's sitting down on his punches but then he's also in the firing line to get caught with shots you know these offensively gifted fighters like your Khans, like a Garcia who's got the speed and the, the power, like speed and power, Khan had the speed and movement. I'll say this, I think Khan, the reason why Khan needed a good trainer is because Amir Khan's boxing IQ wasn't the greatest. He needed to be told, he needed to be uh, like, you know, you needed a trainer like just tell him what to do. Like, so, and, and ingrain it into Amir Khan's head so Amir Khan would do that. I think Ryan Garcia is the same. I'm not so sure Ryan Garcia's boxing IQ is the greatest from what I've seen so far. You know, let's see how he develops because he's still a young lad. Um, but I do think the fact that Ryan Garcia will get more individualized time is good because I think Eddie Reynoso just has too many, too many fighters, too many top level fighters as well. Like he has Andy Ruiz, a top level fighter, Canelo, uh, the best in the world. You know, Martinez, a champion, you know. Oscar Valdez is a champion. Ryan Garcia is a fifth. Like, like you know, it's, I just think that Ryan Garcia probably needs a lot more time than that. So I, I'm, I'm not surprised about the move, um, about, you know, the fact that he's moved because he may like, he may just need more time. He need may need somebody that is able to give him more of their time. Whereas Eddie Reynoso has got so many fighters where he might not be able to allocate enough time to Ryan Garcia. And I, and I do think Ryan Garcia needs a lot more time. I think Ryan Garcia needs a lot of work and a lot of attention. Uh, and he needs to be coached a lot. Uh, there's a lot of flaws that need to be ironed out. Maybe, maybe Ryan Garcia feels and his team feel that he needs more of a trainer's individualized time, which he may not get with Reynoso. Um, but that's, for me, the, the choice of trainer is, um, the choice of trainer is surprising. Uh, because like I said, I don't think uh, Joe Goosen, from what I see, may be a right fit. Who knows? It may, it may be perfect, but I, I would have preferred to see a more a defensively sound trainer that's going to be able to get Ryan Garcia to use his attributes a lot more. Maybe, listen, maybe Joe Goosen may do that. Look, I'm just going off Joe Goosen's previous fighters that he's trained. He's always been quite an offensive-minded trainer. And like I said, the stint that he had with Amir Khan, he had Amir Khan fighting very aggressively. He had Amir Khan fighting very offensively, very, you know, he was very aggressive. And I had a gung-ho type of approach. And obviously that wasn't, that wasn't for Amir Khan. That wasn't right because Amir Khan doesn't have, he has, you know, he doesn't have the, 
he doesn't have the greatest chin in the world and defensively he does make mistakes and 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 he and that can lead to him getting caught and by him being more aggressive he's he's going to be more vulnerable right so he needs to be Amir Khan needs to be a lot more defensively uh, sound uh, and he's never going to be a uh, Panel Whitaker but if someone is ingraining defense into him and getting him to you know be a safety first fighter which he needed to be i think that is more um probably the best way that Khan can box if he's going to be successful at a high level. And unfortunately, I just don't think Joe Goosen was a right fit. But that doesn't mean he's not going to be a right fit for Garcia. It's just my opinion that I think that Garcia probably would have been better off with someone like a Virgil Hunter, somebody that's, you know, more defensively sound and that's going to get Garcia using his attributes in a more educated manner. That's just my opinion that, like, Renault, I mean, Goosen might be able to do that. Like, Joe Goosen might be able to get Ryan Garcia to box like that. He may be able to get Ryan Garcia. You know, Joe Goosen's a great trainer, by the way. You know, he's been a very successful trainer and and, and done great as a trainer. I just think there's some, I just think it's like just like they say, styles make fights. For me, certain styles make certain train like certain styles are suited for certain trainers. Like for me, Liam Williams uh, here in the UK fought Chris Eubank. I think he joined Adam Booth, but Adam Booth doesn't really train those type of fighters. So I, I don't I just don't feel it kind of worked out. Adam Booth likes to train like David Hay, Josh Kelly, you know, guys like that have that kind of uh, that athleticism, that movement that, you know, uh, where, whereas uh, Liam Williams was a different f mode of a fighter. Um, so for me, I think. I, I think that, you know, Ryan Garcia and, and Joe Goosen may work out, but for me, I just think that maybe Ryan could have got a more defensively sound track. I don't know what you guys think, mate. That's just my opinion. But Joe Goosen, I want to say this. Joe Goosen's a brilliant commentator. He knows a lot about boxing and he's a brilliant trainer. Don't get it wrong. Like I said, if I'm not mistaken, he trained Shane Mo like Shane Mosley and that. He's a, he's a brilliant trainer. There's no doubt about it. Joe Goosen is a very, very good trainer. I just don't know whether he's the correct fit for Ryan Garcia. But, you know, that's just my opinion. You know, my opinion's not worth... Um, a lot in terms of if Ryan Garcia goes and has a great successful career with Joe Goosen, then, you know, my opinion is going to be um, invalid. So that's just my, you know, gut feel. Maybe I felt like maybe someone like a Virgil Hunter um, or even someone like a Teddy Atlas may have been more suited. But, you know, uh, maybe Ryan Garcia wants to be more offensive. Maybe Ryan Garcia wants to be uh, you know, more aggressive, more attacking, more gung ho. He feels he can get guys out of there with it, his speed and power. He can blow guys away. Who knows? Maybe that's why Ryan Garcia feels that Joe Goosen's a right fit. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you think Joe Goosen's a right fit for Ryan Garcia? What did you make of the news about him splitting with Renault? So why do you think that that they split? Uh, do you think it was because of the comments that Canelo or Renoso made? Uh, do you think Ryan Garcia? didn't take it or do you think it's got nothing to do with that it just needs that it just was down to the fact that ryan garcia needed more time he needed more um you know renoso to give him more of his time and unfortunately with all the fighters and the top fighters that renoso had he wasn't able to do that so i'd love to know your thoughts guys let me know what you think in the comments section below uh let me know what you think uh i'd love to know your opinion smash the like button hit the subscribe button share you know leave your comment in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video peace